Okay, so video number seven, we are working on sub events, which will give us a little more complexity to our event sheet. Uh, but and it will also just help our game look nicer when we do these uh, animation things. So um, yeah, we might as well just get right into it. Um, as you can see, we're on our event sheet once again, and we have those three events that we had started last time. So we're going to add actually another event separate from those three. Um, and we're going to use the player box again, the player box object. And um, <clears throat> the, these sub events are going to be built into a condition that is for when our guy is jumping off of the platform. Um, so we need to set that up. Okay, so what we want actually is the here we go. Uh, we want the condition platform animation triggers on jump. Okay, don't do platform is jumping up here, but do platform animation triggers on jump. That's the event that we want right there. Okay, so when the player box is in the jump motion uh, from the platform, what we're going to do is add a couple of sub events. So to add a sub event, you obviously don't do add action because that's what we have been doing, but that just adds an action. What we want is to go to the far right where it says add dot dot dot. Click on that. And if you notice, it comes up with a bunch of different options of things to add. And the one that we want, um, we want is the sub event. So it brings us back to our familiar add condition uh, window, just like we would if we were adding a brand new event. And for this sub event, we're going to use the player box. Okay. And now the condition we want is when the player is moving okay, on the platform. So right here, platform. Okay, so this is true when the object is moving. All right. Yes, that is that thing we want. And now the action that we want from this one, so make sure it's in the same line as that sub event, is we want the player, right, or again, our wooden coin looking guy, um, to set a new animation. Okay, so set animation. And that one will be the jump from run one. Okay, so jump from run, right, because our dude is moving. So he's going to be jumping from a running uh, position. So that's the animation we want. Okay. All right, so once we have that sub event done, we're going to make another sub event. And this sub event is going to be added in the same way we did the first one. So we go to that level player box on platform, platform on jump, and we're going to go all the way across to add and add another sub event right there, add sub event. So the condition is actually going to be the same. This is going to sound weird, but player box and then platform is moving. Even though this sub event is actually going to be for when we are not moving on the platform. So it should look like that, okay, which is weird, right? Uh, but what we actually want is when this condition is happening, when the guy is not moving on a platform, the way you can set that up is by inverting uh, the condition. And the way you do that is you actually right click on this. And if you look at the options that appear here, see how there's a bunch of different options that we haven't even talked about. There's one with a red X, invert. So click on that. And now this condition means when the player box is not moving on the platform, okay, but he is jumping or is going to jump, then what we want is now the action to be the player will set an animation. Okay. Now the animation that he's going to be setting is jumping from standing, right? Because he's not moving, but he's jumping from um, the platform. Okay. And there you go. Right? Not too bad. Uh, the other thing that we're going to do is actually uh, when our guy lands on the platforms, we also need to turn off the jumping animations. So we're going to create another kind of complex event like this one that we just made. Okay, so here, we're going to go to Add Event. Again, the player box. 
Now what we're going to look for is the condition called uh, on landed, right, which is where the guy lands. Here we are. Platform animation triggers on landed, where he's jumped. He's already been jumping, and now he's landing on the platform. Okay, and we want that to be there. Now we're going to add a sub event. Okay, just like we did before, add sub event, and this uh, sub event is for uh, again our player box same kind of two sub events we had before when he's moving on the platform so this one okay so when he's landing and he's moving then what we want is now the animation uh, to be the running animation okay so our player object will now have a set animation of just run all right and then we'll do another sub enemy or sub event okay where again our player box is moving on the platform but in this case remember it's not moving okay so we're going to invert this one again just like we did that other one right click on the condition statement invert that okay and now we add the player object action and it will be set animation to idle because it's, if he lands and he's not moving he should just be standing there idle waiting for whatever to happen all right there we go okay great so we got two events that have sub events this new kind of thing for us okay it just makes our ability to do different kinds of uh, actions much better and more complicated so we're going to save this project and we're going to play it see what happens all right so here's our guys running good jumping okay looks pretty good there's that jump animation and then when he lands he's idle okay or when he jumps and he's running he just goes right into running all right he's going to jump oh i didn't make it well, you saw it, and you can rewind the video and see it again. Okay, great, on to the next video.